the first steps done and dry and now we're ready to add the sparkling H2O's. These ones come in a tablet so you're going to have to spray them with the water to get them to soften up. Spray them quite a bit of water, let them sit a couple minutes, spray them again, let them sit for a couple of minutes. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I usually use a half inch angle shader from my Princeton set and I am just going to ever so gently color in some of these little patches here. They're not like watercolors where they flow all over the place. So you're gonna maybe have to add a little bit of water to make sure that it moves along. If you want to, you could always spray the paper with the water. Don't forget to spray the back too. So that leaves a little bit flat. There we go. Just put a little bit of water on that. You can just have a little bit of fun here. Pick up a little pink. You can't rub too much, otherwise you'll reactivate your um, your pewter coloring. So if you find that you're not getting a look you want, then you would want to just add another spritz of water. Okay, and I will add the yellow, maybe make a little green here. Trying to get the idea of the brass. Okay, and again, I'm just going to spray the water on there and let it do the work. Don't force it. Let all those shimmery things blend. That's kind of pretty. Some of the blue and a little bit of the green. This is where Champ is going to be, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Let's see if I can get that again. Hmm, kind of like that. A little bit more of the water. Can you move it around a little bit? And if you want to sop something up, you could do that with your your sponge. or something like that, just to kind of tap it. I think that'll work. If I decide I wanted to add something more, I'm just going to let that dry. I'm going to come back, I'm going to have another look at it, and see what else I want to do. So, I think I like this. If, like I said before, that you were a little unhappy with the intensity of your twinks, pour your 
radiant ring pearl gold into a little dish. Make sure you shake it up so that you get some of the gold mica in there. And you can just dab a little bit more and soften everything that you want. So I think I'm okay with what I've got here this time. But with for the Ellie one, I actually went over the whole thing with a tap, tap, tap. Maybe. And other than that, don't worry too much about it. It should just be pretty and shimmery and soft. I'll let this dry, then I'll iron it, and I'll put my pattern on and start to use my colored pencil. So have a little fun. They're great paints, nice and shimmery, beautiful colors. If you have any problems, give me a call or email me and I'll help you out. Thanks a lot. Bye.